Hi, this is Wolfgang with 6L Designs. Uh, today I'm gonna make a little video about my homemade 5x10 welding table. I had lots of requests uh, in regards to the many features that I incorporated. And so let's get going. Thanks for joining me. We'll start here on the right hand side. Uh, you can see a power strip and some TIG rod storage that's incorporated on that side and on the back side of this table I have this uh, 10 foot long clamp storage with shelves underneath where I keep my welding wire and small fixtures that I've built. Then kind of coming around the corner, this is the left side, I have a 6 inch bench vise uh, incorporated. There's a little rack where this is held. And then there's another power strip, so I have power strips on both sides. And the legs on the outside that you see are 4x4 four four square tubes that have been cut to receive little bench dogs. I have open shelves right underneath the top, so if I need to put a tool down and want to keep it off the top, I can put it there. And uh, the top itself is 3 quarters of an inch thick and has five-eighths holes that have been initially water jetted in there, um, uh, three by three on center, and I basically had to manually ream them all. And um, just the size of it was just a great benefit from, from, from a workability on, on this table. And then just coming back around, kind of like on the right-hand side again, you just see kind of like this power strip. So there's a lot of different features incorporated into that table just to make it as functional as possible. And as we continue to go along, I'll just have little videos that basically just explain all those different features that are incorporated into this table. Here's just a quick close up of my filler rod storage that I have incorporated on the right hand side of my um, welding table. So this is all one inch PVC tubing with caps. And so I just basically cut those plates to receive those tubes. And so I can pull them out. And I basically marked all those individual caps for the different filler materials that I have stored in there. And so it's just very easily accessible. And then here I have this little bracket that basically picks up those holes in those corner posts and you can see some hinges that I have welded onto it. And so this bracket basically uh, is able to be moved kind of like into and hung into all the four outside corner legs. So you can see kind of like just on the inside welded those little hooks on. And so kind of like can put it in there and what it allows me is kind of like take my little seat, my tractor seat on a bracket and just have it on all four corner posts if I want it. I wanted to have a removable bench wise uh, located in my tabletop and so I incorporated it into the corner post. It's accessible through this little plug and so I can slide the post that holds that vice basically into this opening and uh, just show this here quick. I pull that six inch Wilton bench wise off that storage rack that sits right underneath, insert the post into that corner leg, tighten it down with these adjustable handle screws and this bench vice is locked in solid. So I can do whatever work I need to do, kind of like in where a, a vice is, is helpful and involved. And as soon as I'm done with it, and I want to have my um, flat surface for the table back so I can move big parts and, 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 and uh, turn them around without having this obstacle in the way, uh, pull that vise back out and basically put that plug in and all of a sudden I have a nice clean surface again. Here are some pictures of this uh, storage rack that's out of one by one square tubing and how it is mounted to the outside post. OK, 
here we're looking kind of like at uh, one of the corner legs that are four by four quarter inch uh, tubing and they've been cut um, on my plasma table so I basically cut these square holes to be able to receive an inch and a half by inch and a half 316 square tubing bench dog that's what I call them and so here you can see they pull out to support weight and I can put them in different heights which comes in handy kind of if I want to have a frame or something that's uh, just held in place on the side of my table uh, for different working heights and so I made some plates that also fit in between those bench dogs so at that height I can have this this plate at 30 inches which is a nice desk height down eight inches kind of like from the top my welding table is eight inches tall uh, 38 inches tall and then I can stand on it kind of like and I'm not a skinny kind of guy so you can see that there is a lot of load that is able to be held of those and so I have this option kind of like to put these plates in kind of like uh, across the whole length of my welding table it's just as an additional work surface if I need it just to keep the top clean and I can put you know clamps and, and, and tools down and I have a little storage rack kind of like where when I take them off where I store them on the wall just opposite of my welding table so it's very accessible and and easy to use and I have these bench dogs basically on both sides of my welding table here is the storage rack just on the wall and then I have a aluminum plate on top of it kind of like as a heat sink when I do some TIG welding my goal was to incorporate as much storage into this welding table because of its 5 by 10 footprint and uh, so I wanted to have drawers on the main working side and so here there's just different stops that I use and spacers uh, when welding and so I just wanted to have easy and quick access kind of like to all kinds of different tools and those drawers that are 26 inches deep provide a lot of storage space and easy access kind of like to all those different tools that I need as I work on my uh, table on a daily basis and you can see there's still plenty of room left for future tool purchases here it's just kind of like a lot of different clamps and magnets from strong hand and here's kind of like fireball welding squares and standoffs from strong hand and just different tools that are just handy to have close by while you're working on, on, on your welding table and so um, the storage was crucial for me and so these are all these drawers are all on full extension slides and provide easy and quick access for anything that I need while I'm working on my welding table I love those strong hand tools they're just incredibly well made and just very very functional I just love working on my table and to have access to all those different tools uh, right on this side where I work primarily is just phenomenal and I just really enjoy working on that table if you like this video feel free to like and subscribe and share if you're interested in the design of this table I have drawings as CAD files and PDFs available for purchase thanks for watching and see you the next time